Welcome to the news. This week it is December 6th, 2023, and we're going to be talking about two news articles that I bring up. Eric doesn't know, and two news articles that he's bringing up. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'll start it off because Eric started it. Workers returning to Manhattan's offices 70% of pre pandemic levels. That is a lot. That's exactly what you want to hear. So, probably the highest than since the pandemic. By far. <laughs> So what was it on average before COVID? 70% of pre-pandemic levels. So that seems very high to me. And uh, we've been seeing it anyways around the midtown and office space. You know, well, there's definitely a lot of tourists. Totally rented. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of foot traffic. So New York is busier than ever, even in the office. Yeah. Well, I could definitely see it on the trains. And before Thanksgiving, the trains were crazy crowded. You brought in a love news article talking about the MTA was at record levels. So you're bringing in this heat and fire to the news. Guess who is starting a beautiful fund to buy single family homes? Our favorite, Jeff Bezos. Wow. Yeah. He is funding a real estate startup on buying family homes to rent out. It sounds like we are going to be happy owning nothing and just renting our homes. This was on your favorite news publication, Vice. Um, he always <laughs> talks about how he loves Vice. I also do love Vice. And they spun it positively. This was very interesting. They said, the Jeff Bezos backed real estate investing startup is launching a new fund to make it even easier for everyday Americans to speculate on the rental homes. They are making it that it's great that you get to rent your home and you get to speculate what your what every day Americans are spending on rent. The way they're actually doing it is that it's crowdfunding with as little as a hundred dollars. So you and I can essentially wow. get paid to rent our own homes from Jeff Bezos and other people are investing in this fund. It, That's and, pretty amazing. Yeah, you own shares in it and $100. It makes it a lot easier for us to own nothing. It'll be very interesting in Texas. It'd be pretty amazing if it did. That's uh, wild. Uh, brokers say NY Bill revealing LLC owners to the public would chill international sales. There was a transparency bill back in 2021, which kind of started this, but now there is a bill that makes it so that LLCs need to disclose who the owner of the LLC is. That has until the end of this month, the year end, to either be signed or not. Uh, nobody knows which way the governor is leaning, but if the signature goes down, that law will be enacted. So we will see. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, There's I don't know either about that. Too but... many wealthy people that are going to say no. <laughs> Is it in my favorite news publication? <laughs> Talking about uh, Brick Underground, we are going to talk about something totally different. Fannie Mae, the housing government organization, has slashed its down payment re requirements to just 5% for multifamily homes. Real estate moguls are smiling, and they actually had one of your idols, Grant Cardone, as the featured photo. <laughs> it's actually very interesting. They had something very similar in 2009 when the Fed had a good time. In 2009, they offered $8,000 closing credit to first-time home buyers and they had to actually pay that back. Nobody saw that, that little writing. You have to actually live in the house. That's the difference. You have to, it's owner occupied, two to four units, and you rent out the other ones. So they obviously make it great that you can now do home ownership for very little. However, you're now financing 95% of the purchase, which is very high. Your monthlies will be pretty high. If rates come down, which they seem to be doing, then you have record high rents and, you know, can become a multifamily owner. Grant Cardone said, <laughs> imagine buying, I see a little I talking about subscribe it. to all of his channels. You could buy a duplex, a triplex, a fourplex for only 5% down and collect rent on the other units. But you have to live there. That's actually pretty incredible when you think about it. Yeah. And if you bought it in an LLC and it doesn't work out, you just sell it. All you have at stake is $5,000. But where are you gonna find a multifamily for a thousand, a hundred thousand dollars? Not in New York City. 
That's probably the down payment on some multifamily. Well, <laughs> that is the news for this week. If you are looking to find a better way of life in the beautiful suburbs of the concrete jungle, then shoot us an email. <laughs> if you like this, share, subscribe, and comment below what your favorite news article is. We'll be back next week with some yep. beautiful Jeff Bezos-inspired content from Vice. Have a great week, and we will talk to you 